Many people who rely on internet service from work or school no longer have the access they need. Fox 55's Jeremy Masukovich tells us how internet providers are creating ways for people to stay connected. It's the people that don't have uh, reliable service or maybe any service. Keith Lenhart of Metronet says the COVID-19 shutdown has made it difficult for many households to reach the Internet. It might be a situation where they've had, you know, two or three users in the household and now everybody's online, you know, uh, all day long. Many who relied on Internet access from work or school settings are all stuck at home together now. Metronet created a way for you to access Wi-Fi while still abiding by shutdown guidelines. If you are unable to access internet at home, Metronet has provided seven Wi-Fi hotspot locations across the state to give you access regardless of your internet provider. Throughout our marketplaces where it was uh, quickest and easiest for us to make this available so that people could, again, stay safely in their car and get close enough to our storefront to, uh, to register a signal and have reliable service. As you can see here, not many people took advantage of the free Wi-Fi today, but they're hoping more will as word gets out. Other internet providers are also taking initiatives to ensure the community has internet access. Charter Communications is offering 60 days of free Wi-Fi access to homes with students that don't currently have a subscription. Comcast is offering 60 days free for low-income families that join the Internet Essentials program. AT&T will not cancel service and will waive late fees for any customers experiencing hardship during the shutdown. Lenhart says Metronet's goal is to reach as many in need of internet access as possible, regardless of their internet provider. This is really about reaching out and serving the community um, and not so much our customers. In Huntington, Jeremy Masukovich, Fox 55 News.